Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the solution to the code forces problem A or selection which is the first problem of code forces norm 636 division code. So it was a simple problem but it was a little bit tricky and tricky in the sense it had some approaches which would seem correct but they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't run against the test cases properly so they would give wrong answer. So you can see I had earlier such an approach but then I changed it and changed it and then it got accepted. So we'll, I'll just tell you my approach quickly. So the problem is that Shubham has an array of size n. So we have an array of size n and we want to select exactly x elements from it such that their sum is odd. And these elements do not have to be consecutive, meaning that we can select any x elements we can select from any position. So we just simply have to say that whether we can select x elements from the array such that their sum is odd. And that's all. So let's just get to it. So x is the number of elements which you have to take. So I'll just write it down. Number of elements to take. Exactly. Exactly x. So we have to take x no more, no less. Now, let's just get one. And the sum of these x elements should be odd. And sum should be odd. So we have to tell whether this is possible or not. So let's just get one thing straight. So obviously, odd plus even, let's increase the size a little bit. So we know that odd plus even is odd and even plus even is even and odd and odd plus odd is odd. Right. So uh, meaning that if we want to have sum as odd, we need to have at least one odd number. So let's do one thing in our array count the number of odd numbers and count the number of even numbers. So we'll have odd count and we'll have even count. So odd count is the number of odd numbers in our array and even count is the number of even numbers in our array. And one more thing, uh, if we have uh, say n odd numbers, then their sum is, sum is odd. If n is odd, else sum is even. Okay. So we have to get this also, we'll just use this. So yeah, so if we have n odd numbers and we add those odd numbers, so for example, suppose I have 3 and 5, so if uh, n is even, then this sum will be even, otherwise if n is odd, this sum will be odd. So this thing is there. Now let's just, we just know this and let's just remove this for now. We have odd count and we have even count. Now let's look at x. x is the number of elements we should take. So there will be two cases. Uh, x will be odd or x can be even. Or x can be even. So if x is even. So these will be two cases. Or you can say else if it doesn't matter. x is even. So there will be two cases. Now, so if x is odd, then let's just say if odd count if the number of odd elements is less than is greater than or equal to x, then our answer is simply yes. So if odd count is greater than or equal to x, x is odd, then we can take all x elements. So we can take x odd elements. And like I said, uh, x odd elements where x is odd, their sum will be odd. So we can simply take all x, uh, x we can take all the odd elements as our x, and so we can take x odd elements. We can take x odd elements and so the answer will be yes. So the answer is yes. If odd count is greater than or equal to x then the answer is yes. But suppose that odd count is uh, not less, is less than x. Odd count is less than x. So in this else odd count, odd count is less than x. So then what do we do? Obviously we want odd number, we want odd numbers because the sum will be odd. So how many odd numbers do we want? We want odd number of odd numbers. So we want odd number of odd numbers because like I said, odd no sum of odd number of odd numbers will be odd and sum of even number of odd numbers will be even. So if odd count uh, is even, then we have to uh, take odd count minus one because we want to take odd count as odd. So we'll just say odd count minus minus else where odd count is less than x. So if odd count is even, 
odd count minus minus. So suppose that odd count is four, then I can only take three odd elements because I want their sum to be odd. Or if odd count is odd, then I can just take odd counts. So we don't need this else because if odd count is odd, then I can take odd count as odd count itself. Now, so out of x, out of x, we have taken odd count, odd number, meaning that uh, we are left. We want to now. We need, we need uh, x minus odd count more. And right now, the sum is already odd. So sum is already odd. So we need x minus odd count more. We have odd count yet. And this we, as sum is already odd with odd count. So we have taken odd count numbers. We need x minus odd count numbers more. So if if sum is odd with odd count, then x minus odd count should be even, meaning that all of x minus odd count we want only even numbers. And odd count is already done, so no more odd numbers left. So no more odd numbers are left. We have taken all the odd numbers that we could have. And now we want to take x minus odd count more. So simple. If even count is greater than or equal to x minus odd count, then yes, else no. So again, simple. We looked at x. If x was odd, and if odd count was greater than x, then answer is yes because we can take all the x odd elements. Their sum will be odd. Otherwise, odd count is less than x. So if odd count is even, we only want uh, odd odd count. So I'll subtract one. I'll leave one odd number out, and that odd count we have taken as our x. So we need x minus odd count more, and that has to be fulfilled by even. So if even count can fulfill that, then yes. Otherwise, no. Now, same thing if x is even. So if x is even, then we can. Uh, if x is even, then we have to take one even number. So, if if x is even, I have to take one even number. So, if even uh, equal to zero, then if even equal to zero, answer is no. So, no, because x is even, and I want odd number of odd numbers. So, if x is even. I should have x minus one odd and at least one even. So if there are no even numbers and x is even, then the answer is no because why we have all odd numbers and if we take x odd numbers, so uh, if even is equal to zero, if we take x odd numbers, sum will be even. It can never be odd because there are no even numbers and there are only odd numbers. So if even is zero. The answer will be a straight no. Otherwise, x will be x minus one because we have taken one even number. So uh, we have taken one even number now, and x will be x minus one, and even count will be even count minus one. Now we have to take x numbers more. X minus one we have already done, so we want x numbers more, and this sum of x. Should be odd. Should be odd. So now x should be odd. So now it is just the first case. So x is odd because x was even, and we did x is equal to x minus one. Now it is just simply the first case. So everything that we did in the first case, we just have to do now. So if odd count greater than or equal to x, then yes. Else, the same thing. If odd count is even, if odd count, I'll also show you the code. If odd count is even, then odd count minus one we have to take because x is sum we want odd because we have already taken one even number. Rest sum should be odd. Okay. So in this case, x was even. So if the total, if even count, this is even count. If even count was zero, then the answer would be no, because if we take x odd numbers, sum will be even, which we don't want. So we take one even number, and rest of the sum should be odd. So x is equal to x minus one. We need x more, 
and even count is equal to even count minus 1 because we've already taken one even number. Now x is odd. So if odd count is greater than or equal to x, the remaining all x we can take odd numbers. Else, if odd count is even, we have to take odd count minus 1. Else, we can just odd count is equal to odd count minus 1. If odd count is even, we only want odd odd count, so we take odd count minus 1. Now the same thing, rest have, has to be fulfilled by even count. So if even count greater than or equal to x, then x minus odd count, uh, let's just say that. So if odd count is even, then we have taken odd count minus 1, else we have taken odd counts. So we wanted x, we have already taken x odd count, so we want x minus odd count now. Just the same as the first case now. So now we want x minus odd count. And this has to be fulfilled by even and this should be again even. Should be even. Because we already have one odd which is this. So rest of the rest of all the things we should it should be even. So the same thing if even count is greater than equal to x minus odd count, then yes, else no. So that's all. Pretty simple. What we did again is now I'll show you with the code. So what we're doing is what we're doing is first I'm taking I'm counting even or odd. So if odd is zero, then the answer will be straight up no, like it just said. Otherwise, if x is odd, then if odd greater than or equal to x, we can take all x as odd numbers. Otherwise, this is the total which we need. Which this is the total which we have yet. So if odd the if the number of odd odd is odd count here. So if odd count is odd, then I've just taken total as odd count. Otherwise, I've taken total as odd minus one. So now the rest has to be fulfilled by even. So if that is greater than or equal to what we want, answer is yes. Otherwise, answer is no. Otherwise, if x is even, then if even is zero, answer will be straight up no. Otherwise, x is equal to x minus one, meaning that now I want x more, but I've already taken one in my elements. And even is even minus 1. Now again the same thing, if odd is greater than or equal to x, rest of the x elements I can take all odds, so yes. Otherwise, total, what I've taken odd, if odd is odd, otherwise I've taken odd minus 1. Rest has to be fulfilled by even, so is even greater than or equal to x minus total? Answer is yes, otherwise the answer is no. So that's all. I know my approach was a little bit lengthy and not lengthy exactly, but it was a little bit lengthy to understand, to explain. But so that's all. Thank you.